Meteorologist Sally Showman's back. New week, <laughs> new look at rain. Still a lot of clouds, though. We sure. sure had a lot of clouds this weekend, and they're still around this afternoon. We're going to start with a live look outside. This is Salty's on the Columbia, and you can see a little rain drop on the lens, but still no measurable rainfall in the rainfall gauge there. Lots of clouds in McMinnville, a little further south, down the I-5 corridor, and out at Cannon Beach, you can see a shower's passing by as we speak. It's 45 degrees. I look for the wettest locations on our pinpoint weather net. We've got more than 100 sites, and this is it. So you can tell we haven't had a lot of rain today. These showers are fairly spotty and really light, and I'll show you them. We'll return to uh, this map. They're moving right now from the north and the west to the south and the east, and so uh, we had a shower roll on through about an 15, 20 minutes ago, the metro area. We've got another one that's rolling on into the Cascade foothills right near, near Castle Rock on I-5. And then there's another shower over Vernonia, over Highway 26 if you're headed out to the coast. And then there are those showers that I showed you out at the coast. So all really light in nature. These sprinkles are uh, sliding south from the north and we'll continue to see light rain at times throughout the rest of the day. How about the rest of the week? Well, we've got high pressure in control off in the Pacific. Light rain and disturbances really are riding up and over the top of this ridge of high pressure. And so we'll see light rain from time to time. I think Wednesday will be the wettest day of the work week. And we'll time that out for you here on Raincast. This is 7 o'clock tonight. Some of those sprinkles still around and a lot of clouds west of the Cascades. We'll roll through the overnight hours. You can see a few sprinkles. And then I think more shower activity throughout the day tomorrow. Not all of the time, but some of the time. We'll have sprinkles. Really not that big of a deal. This is Wednesday morning, so more rain and some of it a little bit heavier at times. This is 3 o'clock on Wednesday and we'll roll on through until Thursday morning. I think we start to dry things out on Valentine's Day. How about temperatures out there? Ranging from about 40 degrees in West Lynn, whoa, to 46 degrees in Vancouver. So most of us in the mid 40s, with the exception of West Lynn there. 46 degrees in Bend. Temperatures have started to rebound east of the Cascades thanks to the sunshine. They are in the sun east of the Cascades. I wish I could get my car right now and head over there, get a little bit of vitamin D. 46 in a lot of locations out along the coast, even at PDX and in Salem. So while we're talking about the clouds and the sprinkles, I figured it's time to get you in the mood for spring. So a couple of signs that spring isn't too far away. First of all, we've, we're having longer days, shorter nights. Our sunset tonight, 532. That's a milestone because the last time we had a sunset that late was November 3rd. 10 hours and 14 minutes of daylight today. And we've added one hour and 32 minutes since the winter solstice. One other sign of spring I wanted to show you. This picture was sent in by Jessica. We've got blooming tulips in her front yard. She lives in southeast Portland. Thank you for sending that in. Send us your pictures, news at coin.com. So your pinpoint forecast for the rest of today, mostly cloudy, drizzle or light showers out along the coast. The I-5 corridor, we'll continue to see these clouds, light showers, especially to the north of Salem. East of the Cascades, a much different picture. Temperatures in the 40s and the 50s with sunny skies. Through the gorge, mostly cloudy at the western mouth of the gorge. And as you drive east on uh, 84, you'll hit the sunshine. Mostly cloudy, a few light uh, rain showers or snow showers over the Cascades. Won't amount to much as far as snowpack is concerned. Overcast and cool, an occasional shower, especially this afternoon and this evening. Temperatures about 45 degrees for the high in battleground today. Your seven-day forecast shows that we'll be wet at times through Wednesday. And then Thursday, mainly dry outside of an isolated sprinkle or shower. Mm. So if you've got dates planned, it doesn't seem like a bad day for that at all. And then morning fog, and I think a little bit of afternoon sunshine on Friday, finally. So we, right. we all deserve Fingers it. Fingers crossed. Right? <laughs> I know. Fingers crossed, for all sure. Right. We were hoping for it over the weekend, and I it know. just didn't arrive. I saw one sun break, so that, oh. was, that was nice. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Sally. Sure.